Now is as great a time as any to make a find. From the sheer number of remarkable discoveries made by archaeologists, scientists, and even normal people in recent times, it's clear that we're going through a boom era in terms of gathering knowledge and insight. There have been tons of finds made recently, and we've put together some of the most amazing examples for you in this video. Let's start this list with number 15, Ancient Grasshopper Artifact. While the artifact's exact origin remains disputed, many scholars believe archaeologist Howard Carter may have personally kept the object after his 1922 excavation of Tutankhamun's tomb. After weeks of back and forth about its controversial background, the item, believed to have come from the young pharaoh's burial site, sold for approximately $450,000 at auction in London. Known as the Gwennell Grasshopper, this 3.5-inch ivory and wood piece was crafted about 3,400 years ago during Egypt's New Kingdom. Its inlaid black and cobalt eyes create a lifelike effect, and its checkered wings open to reveal a cavity, likely used to hold perfume or coal, essentials for the elite. According to auction records, Maurice Naman bought the artifact from Carter, later selling it to Joseph Brummer in 1936. Brummer's archive card, now stored at the Met, states it was supposedly from King Tutankhamun's tomb. The piece passed through elite collectors, including Alistair Bradley Martin and the Qatari royal family, once valued at $1.2 million. Number 14. Sardinian Tomb Complex with Roman Vessels Finestre Sularte, on August 1st, reported that archaeologists in Sardinia uncovered three newly identified chamber tombs, part of the Domus de Janus complex at Sant'Andrea Priu. With this addition, 20 tombs have now been documented at the site. Tomb 18 contains a corridor and three connected rooms, where objects like a green stone axe, obsidian shards, and a spindle whirl were found. One room includes a raised hearth carved directly into the stone. Tomb 19 features a rectangular layout with a rounded adjacent cell and an exterior pavilion. Tomb 20, the most intricate, links an entry chamber to multiple side rooms. Inside one of these, a painted decorative band remains intact. The discovery of over 30 Roman period ceramic items like lamps, jugs, and plates earned it the nickname Tomb of the Roman Vases. Excavations will continue in lower levels, where traces of both Roman and early medieval settlements have already emerged. All three tombs are now being prepared for public view. Number 13. Phosphine Gas in Venus's Atmosphere Mars draws most of the attention in the hunt for alien life, but a 2020 study redirected eyes to Venus. In September that year, researchers reported the unexpected presence of phosphine gas in Venus's atmosphere, a compound typically associated with biological activity. Phosphine, a blend of hydrogen and phosphorus, is found in the guts of penguins and swamp-dwelling microbes on Earth. While the gas can be industrially synthesized, Venus has no known geological or chemical processes that would account for its levels, nor does it host factories or, obviously, penguins. The planet's atmosphere, saturated with sulfuric acid and extreme heat, is considered too hostile for Earth-like life. But if phosphine truly exists in its clouds, it raises the possibility of a completely alien biochemistry, one that could survive where nothing else can. Though controversial, the discovery has sparked serious scientific debate. Venus, once dismissed, may warrant a closer look in the ongoing search for microbial life beyond Earth. Number 12. Lavish Bronze Age Burial Found in Iran According to Fizz, archaeologist Ali Vadati and his team found a richly adorned burial site at Tepe Chalo in northeastern Iran. The necropolis dates to the late 3rd millennium BCE, when Tepe Chalo thrived as a key hub within the Bactria Margiana archaeological complex, which was part of the greater Khorasan civilization. Among dozens of burials, the most elaborate belonged to a young woman no older than 18. 
Her grave included 34 items, like ornate gold jewelry, copper trade seals, and three chlorite cosmetic jars. One jar was carved with scorpions and snakes, symbols possibly tied to underworld beliefs. The inclusion of commercial seals suggests her family held elite status and participated in wide-reaching trade networks spanning from Mesopotamia to the Indus Valley. Vadati emphasized that such seals reflect ownership and economic power. This burial not only showcases the prosperity of ancient Tepe Chalo, but also offers insight into the roles elite women played in early Bronze Age commerce. Number 11. Wonder Chicken Fossil In March 2020, British paleontologist Daniel Field of the University of Cambridge made what he called the most important and amazing discovery of his career in Belgium. While investigating for dinosaur fossils, he instead uncovered the oldest known fossil of a modern bird. Nicknamed the Wonder Chicken, which is, by the way, pretty cool, the creature lived over 66 million years ago, about a million years before the asteroid that erased dinosaurs. The fossil is astonishingly preserved, with the nearly complete skull providing rare evolutionary insight. Detailed examination revealed shared traits with today's ducks and chickens, suggesting it may have been a common ancestor. The fossil challenges long-held beliefs that modern birds evolved in the Southern Hemisphere. Instead, its European origin implies a broader migratory history. The specimen's official name is Asteriornis maastrichtensis, but the nickname has endured due to its evolutionary importance. The find pushes the known timeline of modern birds back further than previously believed, and reshapes what we know about avian survival after extinction events. Number 10. Siberian Unicorn's Extinction Timeline Unicorns are pure myth, but the Elasmotherium sibiricum, nicknamed the Siberian Unicorn, was a real prehistoric species. Long believed to have gone extinct nearly 200,000 years ago, recent research has upended that timeline. A groundbreaking study published in Nature Ecology and Evolution analyzed more than 20 fossil samples and concluded the species survived until roughly 39,000 years ago. That places it well within the time range of early Homo sapiens, making it likely that humans encountered these animals. Although more closely related to the modern rhinos than the horse, its massive single horn likely contributed to enduring legends. The findings suggest Elasmotherium lived across regions of Eastern Europe and Western Asia, perhaps coexisting with early humans and inspiring the unicorn mythos. Its extended survival window alters our understanding of Ice Age fauna and lends new credibility to the ancient tales of horned beasts that persisted across multiple civilizations and cultural traditions. Number 9. Ancient Synagogue Identified in Spain Well, this month is lucky for archaeologists because excavations at the ancient Roman site of Castulo in southern Spain have found what might be one of the country's oldest synagogues. Near a structure once identified as a 4th or 5th century A.D. Christian basilica, researchers found three broken oil lamps, a roof tile carved with menorahs, and a jar lid inscribed with Hebrew letters. This prompted a reassessment of the building's purpose. Its design matched the layout of early synagogues far more than Christian basilicas. What made this even more telling was its proximity to a Roman bathhouse, something Christian authorities at the time would never have tolerated. Roman baths were the last surviving pagan space in a city, said archaeologist Bautista Ceprian. They were seen as diabolical, something that had to remain beyond the Christian sphere. If this interpretation holds, the site marks a rare piece of Spanish Jewish history. Number 8. Amulet of the Egyptian Pharaoh. In Israel, eight year old Nishama of Jerusalem chose to volunteer at the Temple Mount Sifting Project, a long running excavation near the iconic religious site. Since 2004, over 170,000 volunteers have taken part, but Nishama's very first day found something exceptional. 
What she initially believed to be an ancient pottery shard turned out to be an Egyptian amulet inscribed with hieroglyphs. The name of Pharaoh Thutmose III appears clearly on the artifact, enabling archaeologists to date it between 1479 and 1425 BCE. That places its origin over 3,200 years ago. At that point in history, Jerusalem was under Egyptian influence, which explains how the amulet ended up so far from the Nile Valley. Thutmose III famously styled himself as the conqueror of a thousand cities, and it's likely such amulets served as royal symbols of dominance and political reach. Number 7. Ancient Star Chart, Hidden in Egyptian Calendar While modern astronomy attributes the discovery of Algol, a variable binary star in Perseus, to recent science, ancient Egyptian scribes seem to have noticed it thousands of years earlier. Found on Papyrus Cairo 86,637, a 3,200-year-old calendar, the star, called the Demon Star today, appears central to the document's entire structure. Ancient Egyptians tracked its brightness fluctuations, which cycle every 2.85 days, and used them as a timekeeping mechanism. The calendar predates modern acknowledgement of Algol by over 3,000 years. The star's Arabic name, Al-Ghul, translates to ghoul, hinting at its ominous presence. Strangely, the Egyptians chose to organize their entire system around this dimming star instead of more obvious celestial bodies like the sun or moon. Its recurring rhythm must have held significance, perhaps even religious. Scholars remain puzzled by how such precise astronomical knowledge existed so early, but this find suggests that ancient Egyptian astronomers were much smarter. Number 6. Mysterious Gold Spirals in Denmark Golden objects from Denmark's Bronze Age aren't uncommon, but the discovery of over 2,000 identical gold spirals in Boslund is unlike anything found. Buried together in a concentrated area, the spirals remain a mystery to archaeologists. One theory suggests they once adorned ceremonial garments, now long decomposed, with the gold pieces surviving centuries under the ground. Still, even if used decoratively, the sheer quantity challenges interpretation. In Bronze Age Danish belief, gold symbolized solar power leading some to theorize that the collection was owned by a high priest or a member of royal lineage. Dating back roughly 3,000 years, the spirals are now displayed at a nearby museum, but no definitive explanation accompanies them. Despite advanced dating techniques and preservation, the purpose behind the hoard remains elusive. Whether used in ritual, attire, or offerings, the collection stands as a rare and unexplained concentration of wealth, artistry, and religious symbolism from Denmark's ancient past. Number 5. Medieval Castle Beneath Gloucester Prison Back in 2013, Gloucester's city council declared its aging prison obsolete and shut it down. A replacement facility was built elsewhere, and the old structure was left idle ahead of demolition. Before tearing it down, Archaeologists were called in, and their investigation revealed something unexpected beneath the former prison basketball court, the remnants of a medieval castle. Historians now believe the structure dates to around 1100, shortly after the Norman Conquest and during King Henry I's reign. The fortress stood for centuries until being dismantled in 1787, likely to make room for the prison itself. Curiously, no known historical records mention that a castle once occupied the grounds. Although the upper levels were destroyed, much of the original stonework remains, along with fine examples of medieval ceramics within the lower chambers. Some researchers have even compared the structure to the Tower of London, though that may be a stretch. Still, the find reshapes the city's recorded past in a striking way. Number 4. Civil War Steamer in North Carolina Though the American Civil War ended more than 150 years ago, sunken ships from that era continue to resurface. 
Back in 2021, sonar scans off the coast of North Carolina revealed a well-preserved steamer lying about 20 feet underwater near Oak Island. The vessel, measuring 225 feet, is believed to be a Confederate blockade runner. These ships were designed to slip past Union blockades and supply ports like Wilmington. This one likely failed its mission. Three such steamers are known to have gone down in the area, but based on its dimensions and features, experts suspect it's the Agnes E. Fry. Built in Scotland in 1864 and later sent to aid the Confederacy, the vessel now rests undisturbed beneath the waves. While there are no plans to raise the wreck, marine archaeologists hope to explore it further. Its location and condition offer a tangible link to one of America's most turbulent historical periods, and the war fought at sea. Number 3. The Fate of the H. L. Hunley Submarine The H. L. Hunley holds the distinction of being the first military submarine to sink an enemy ship when it attacked the USS Housatonic during the American Civil War on February 17, 1864. But after that successful mission, the vessel disappeared mysteriously. It wasn't found until 1995, resting just 1,000 feet from its target on the seafloor. For decades, historians speculated about why it never made it back to port, that mystery has finally been solved. Researchers now believe that when the torpedo exploded at close range, the resulting blast created a shockwave so strong it instantly killed the entire crew. With no one left to navigate, the submarine sank almost immediately. Though the Hunley completed its objective, it did so at the cost of every life on board. Today, it stands as a haunting example of wartime innovation and sacrifice a pioneering machine that broke boundaries but ultimately claimed its creators in the process. Number 2. World's Oldest Stone Tools, Found in Kenya Identifying true prehistoric tools among naturally broken stones requires trained eyes, and even then, experts often disagree. In northwestern Kenya, archaeologists claim to have discovered the oldest stone tools ever recorded, dating back over three million years. If authenticated, this predates known tool use by around 700,000 years and precedes the emergence of any Homo species, including Homo sapiens and Homo erectus. These artifacts include six-inch sharpened edges and flaked stones, believed to serve as primitive anvils or cutting tools. Dr. Allison Brooks of George Washington University asserts that natural erosion couldn't have shaped these objects, and the surrounding sediment layers support her dating estimates. The tools likely belong to an early hominin of the Kenyanthropus genus, whose skeletal remains were found less than two kilometers from the tool site. If confirmed, this discovery will totally rewrite our history. Number 1. Organic Chemicals on Mars NASA's Perseverance rover may be the latest to land on Mars, but its predecessor, Curiosity, continues its work. The rover, active since 2012, recently analyzed a sample from a region called Cumberland and found something critical, traces of organic molecules. While this doesn't prove that life ever existed or currently exists on the Red Planet, it's the first confirmed detection of such material on its surface. Among the compounds identified was chlorobenzene, which is a carbon-based chemical commonly linked to biological processes. Curiosity operates by heating drilled samples in a miniature onboard oven, then examining the gases they emit. Alongside chlorobenzene, the team also detected dichlorobenzene and dichloroethane. These results offer significant evidence that Mars may have once harbored conditions suitable for life. Whether the materials originated biologically or geologically remains uncertain. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon in the next one.